Hey guys, today is Saturday, February the 27th of 2021. I want to go ahead and do a video on Cameco CCJ, quick update. I'm noticing some things on the chart that I figure you probably want to know. Uh, I wanted to show you first off some natural cycles on uh, CCJ. As you can see right here, this is the uh, green projection line. This is a decimal. And the blue one is an annual, and then the red and the green are mid and fast uh, uh, cycles, natural cycles. So what I'm seeing here is that they're all topping out all at the same time here, and they're projecting or forecasting lower. So lower price action for uh, Cameco. And as you can see, they bottom out at different points, but they're all kind of bottoming out in March. I did a video on chemical cycles uh, a couple of months ago, and I was saying that maybe we're going to make a top in March. Uh, we probably could get close. Maybe, you know, this could be a fake out, and a chemical could push higher into March and then maybe turn down. But getting closer now to the uh, dates, as you can see, they're pulling back into March. So maybe the forecast may not pan out. Uh, maybe we may top out here and pull into March and then continue the trend higher. So pretty much an ABC correction may be coming in. I'm going to show you why. So in regards to natural cycles, uh, it looks like prices could pull back lower into March. Uh, let's see. Next thing I want to show you is, also you can see also in the RSI, there's a little divergence going on. Uh, not bad here, but here you can see it's a little pulling back. And it's kind of more flat on this end while prices go up. This is also a spectrum analysis cycle. And you can see here that I got four cycles going on. There's a green one, a red one, and the magenta. They're all kind of topping out right here at the same time, while the blue one, the bigger long projection uh, cycle line, is still forecasting higher prices. So you take all these four uh, cycles and do a composite of it, you get this green line. And what this green line indicating is that this is the combination of all these cycles uh, that we also could be topping out here and maybe pulling back. This one goes a little deeper into April. So it could be an A, B, C correction, and then continue the trend up higher. Also, too, uh, March was, uh, March 11th was the anniversary of the uh, Fukushima uh, disaster. So just keep that, you know, in mind also. Uh, Gan always says anniversary dates are always important to watch. So let's get these out. This is another cycle I've been watching. Just kind of have it on my radar. Uh, topping out on the 4th, pulling in to the 14th, and then making a high on the 24th or around there, but we'll see. Next, this is uh, machine learning. This is a uh, neural nets. So what you do is you train the computer with the data you have and it spits out forecast dates. Some of, them, some of them work out, some of them don't, but I figure you at least get a heads up. So it's saying that the uh, 16 was the top, and that we could push all the way as low as the 30th, and maybe bounce up to the 14th of April, and then shoot down to the April 28th, and then from there maybe trend higher. So it looks like it could be an A, B, C, Correction. Uh, this one's a little more deep. This one takes two months, but you know it could pan out. It may not. Just figure, I just put it out there so you guys could see it. Once we get to May, we could revisit the uh, forecast and see how the neural net machine learning uh, forecast did or panned out. Uh, what else do I have here? These are the harmonics from that uh, spectrum analysis I showed you. 
And you can see that right here we have a hit on the 23rd and then this one coming up on April the 6th. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it of what I wanted to show you guys. Let's go to the next chart. This one is my Elliott uh, chart. So as you can see, we got a one, two, three, four, and we just hit a wave five. And now either we get an ABC correction down or we get a one, two, three, four, five wave down and then continue the trend higher. So these are projection targets I have of extensions, 20 to 39. 2162 all the way to uh, 27 and 43 a uh, long term a uh, short term you know support could be anywhere between this 14 15 bucks uh, this uh, right here which is that way for 1236 uh, I can't see it going any lower but you know markets always surprise you of uh, the correction is deep. Uh, you can see volume is pretty good, pushing higher. Uh, Stokes are getting a little toppy over here. And the uh, MACD looks like it's just about to cross over right now. Just like dip his head under the uh, line. So other things to watch that maybe the correction could be panning on, but we'll see. You can see how deep this one came in and then shot up. I mean, this pattern could play out also, so. You also got to keep that in mind. And then lastly, uh, we could go into uh, my other chart, which I use a lot of GAN stuff. These are the GAN speed lines. We're battling this 200% uh, right here, 1665. This is like the one by one in the GAN speed line. And this one, uh, if we're going to go higher, we need to hold here. If not, we're going to push lower to the uh, 1482. And then these supports over here. We go to our Fibonacci, and this is from uh, November 4th. You can see these are the extensions from this uh, impulse wave. And we're chopping around here. Uh, obviously, support would be that 1487. If we ever get down there, because that's our last uh, swing pivot high. We go to our next chart, and this is a GAN angle fan. So GAN's theory says that every time prices hit these angles, uh, there's a resistance, they'll revisit the other angle and then bounce off and then continue just going like a little bouncing ball between the lines. So you can see how this uh, worked out here. It kind of worked out here and then fail, fail right here, found support here, popped up, found support here, jumped, hit the one by three. So if it's going to be an ABC correction, this would be your support angle right here. This is the uh, one by one. This right here is the uh, Gartley patterns and the ABCD correct, uh, patterns. Uh, I use this either as a timing mechanism or a, a price projection. So let's say that the uh, chemical is not going to follow any cycles. It's just trending and it's going to go continue higher. Uh, this uh, model is showing the possible target to the upside would be 1802 on somewhere between March the 25th. Now in reverse, you could say that if we do an ABC correction and the chemical uh, is going to follow the uh, natural cycles, then uh, March 26, which coincides with all the cycles bottoming out and the other charts I showed you, line up. And this could be a possible uh, swing uh, pivot low in March. This is my pitch fork. As you can see, this is a 0, 25, 50, 75, and the 100. And we're smack in the middle fighting that 50, trying to keep holding, which is the uh, center of gravity in regards to the pitch fork. So we're trying to hold that. Uh, but if we fail, we're going to probably hit the 25. Uh, and if it's an ABC correction, it could probably maybe go as, maybe test this uh, pitch fork, a zero point here and hopefully bounce up. I got two more to go. This is a action reaction line. So this is an impulse wave here, impulse wave here, and then it's spread out into geometrical form as a grid. And you can see how prices behave in these grids. So you can see we had resist, resist, uh, re, uh, 
resistance here. And we're in this box here, so if it, you know, if it falls down, chances are it could find support anywhere in between this grid from the past uh, impulse waves. And then lastly, this is the Dewey cycles I watch. This is uh, independent from the uh, natural cycles and the uh, spectrum analysis cycle I showed you earlier. So as you can see right here, these are four waves, and they're all topping out at the same time. And uh, it's interesting, this was mostly over here, I guess, because the data is moving. I guess now it's uh, topping up over here, but I got to see why that does that. But either way, uh, they're topping out, and now it looks like they're projecting to shoot lower. Uh, and it's saying somewhere between March, the... Uh, the 25th, interesting. A lot, a lot of stuff going up, going on in the last week of March. So this one, I want to see how this pans out because this is kind of lining up. But uh, yesterday, I saw this, and this was these cycles were here, and this projection line was here. So I want to see why why that happens. That it shifts something interesting. I just noticed. But either way, I wanted to show you. Uh, the price action could continue during the ABC correction somewhere around the last week, second week, third week of March, and then continue the trend higher. Hopefully you like this video. I just wanted to do this quick update. Uh, I took uh, took some profit at 16.63. Just so I want to pocket in some money. Uh, if this correction pans out and it pulls in, I'm going to wait for it to continue doing its thing. Uh, and once I see that it bottoms out, if it plays out, and then I'll buy some more, and then hopefully it'll turn back up and continue going higher. Uh, but if you're following Chemical, this is something you probably want to have on your radar. Uh, see you again, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on uh, Chemical, CCJ using WDGAN price and time, technical analysis.